Hi there, welcome to another episode of ABC Useful Tips and this, today we're going to show you how to create a game that is fun right at the beginning of a lesson or before your lesson for blended learning right? so that they can actually be a rouse of interest for your lesson topic and the fun game is called Add Pass and Keep Going and this game is still very simply that uh, the group and in this case, in this case, we are allocating to only within Google Classroom. I'll show you how to do that, right? And then the, the group members will look at a picture, and then they will keep typing on story sentence after sentence to continue the story until the end, the time allocated, right? And they will all be doing in the same file okay, in Google Classroom, and I'll show you how to do that. Do stay to the end of the video to find out how you can assign Google Classroom to allow interest in the students in groups. This will be the view of the students student a student b in two different groups group one and group two and this is what you will see and you click on the file right and they will be typing within the own group to continue the story and i hope you like this video if you would love to be first to be notified of future video right please click subscribe at the bottom or click the like on top all right give us a, a thumbs up or then click on the bell so you'll be first to be notified give us a comment how can you really use this to, to entice your students to advance their interest all right and, and we'll keep looking through the video on how we create this fun game. Alright, let's dive on it. Okay, to set up this wonderful and fun uh, pre-lesson or before lesson activity called the Add, Pass and Keep Going. Right? The first thing to do is to set up the assignment file in your Google Drive so that you can easily import it into your Google Classroom. Right? So, uh, first of all, we are going to set this uh, assignment okay this add pass keep going assignment using google doc all right so where do you get it okay in the folder that you want to create a folder in your google drive go to new at the top left hand corner right click on that new and then you look for all right so the first thing that you should add in is a the title of this activity, this assignment. Uh, in this case, it sounds great if you put it at pass and keep going. Alright, this is a fun game. Okay, so uh, as this is a group assignment, so we're going to uh, uh, emphasize the group name here in this particular file. Later, I'll show you how to duplicate for the rest of the groups. Alright, and of course, you would like the folder to be uh, the file to be in the same name here. So, what you can do is just go on after you put, type the name on top, the first line, you go to un Titled document, just click on it. It will appear the same name as the first line in your document, right? And because you want to recognize this easily as the particular group, right? And in this case, it's group one. You would like to type group one in front of the title of the file, right? The next item to have will be the, the names of the participants or the students in the particular group. The next item to make it really fun for this pass and pass and keep going where the students keep on adding on their stories one after another, right, is to create that excitement where uh, pictorial imagination makes it easy for them to have their minds flowing. So to arouse interest for your particular topic of their particular lesson, okay, so it's important to give them the image, alright, and some in very interesting image. And this, in this case, uh, my theme for this particular lesson is adventure. Right, and it's animal adventure to make it easy for them to think out of the box. So what I will do is to find a picture. I'm going to show you how you can find picture from Google Doc itself by clicking here, insert, click image, and you can go and search on the web. As I mentioned, I'm going to use animal adventure. Okay, as my theme, you just type in your theme. Right, and okay, and I think this picture is particularly interesting. Right, group adventure lo looks wonderful. I'm right, really curious, so I'm going to bring this over by clicking on the file, click, left click, hold it, and bring it into your file. Okay, and just release it. And the next important thing will be to give the very short and sweet as, uh, instructions so that they can do it on their own. All right, so, cool. so what you can do is just to add in the instructions that are simple. Sh uh, instruction with a little bit of detail or help okay something like you have given every one of them a number all right each num each person will, will follow the number according to the table okay they, they to fill in their story right so uh, uh everyone is supposed to look at a picture to, uh, to think about a story on that theme that you have uh, given okay the first person will start the first sentence all right and the second person will type another sentence and but they can actually have their own twist all right, or based on their own imagination. Okay, it doesn't have to follow exactly, okay, but it has to flow, 
right maybe you like to all right include to flow okay yeah if you like that to happen right and then the next person depending on how many you have the next person will go on and on all right that's why it's called add pass and keep going all right all right so in this case the instructions are done okay and last but not least is for them to fill in the the, 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 the story within the space that you allocate all right to make it easy all right especially if it's the first time they're doing this you may want to include a story table okay i'm going to show you how you can add in a simple story table for easy uh, flow of the, uh, the students typing and first you may like to include uh, the table by going up here clicking insert all right and then look for table okay and then uh, you just need a, a column for number and the next column for the typing all right so maybe i'll just have six for a short one all right you can add as many as you want or right? even more time in the beginning of the lesson okay so what you can do is then bring this and the first column i will call it s n and i'll give an instruction to what is s n there's some um, student number okay, and as the indicator on top each student will be given a number so you know which one will go first all right you want you go first i go first all right so there will be a flow that is already allocated okay so then the second column will be the story sentence as instruction given on top okay so you just have to just keep typing right and then it's ready for assignment given to the student okay cool just remember all right have the title and the group number the group members name picture instructions and the story table we are ready to go okay and as I mentioned at the beginning this is actually a group assignment that is given to a particular group and only that group will see this assignment therefore the next group you have to create a different file okay but of course it's the same content all right so in this case what you can do is go back to the google class at google drive here you already created this particular assignment for group one so to duplicate that is very simple go to this item click on it all right and then right click on while you are having the cursor on it okay on the highlight and go to make a copy click make a copy another copy will be created all right with the name copy of okay group one so in this case of course this is not for group one this is for the other group in uh, of particularly uh, for the next group i will definitely indicate group two so you have created all these assignments um, duplicates you can go into google classroom and assign and we'll show you now quickly back in google classroom okay to go assign this group assignment as a fun activity at the beginning of the lesson okay to arouse interest go to classwork okay and in classwork go to create and this plus sign here click on it all right and it's a assignment because it's a attached file click on assignment Okay, one, uh, once a blank assignment appears okay the first thing to do is type in the title got the title ready and this especially for group one only please please you may would like to um, indicate group one in front so it's easier to see in the stream all right and give, give it a very interesting and fun name fun game all right and give the game theme, uh, name game title maybe an exclamation mark will help all right okay, and the next thing we'll do you will do is to add in the assignment file that you have created and that is very easy just go down to the bottom and see this add sign okay click on it go to google drive and because you have just done it all right you appear here as your recent file okay and then uh, you choose group one since this is this first instruction for group one just click on it all right double click if you want to okay uh, if not you can click the insert at the bottom just now okay down here is appearing here as a uh, file attached all right and remember okay to click here before you actually assign all right that is you must choose one of them okay if you're giving every student a copy of it all right and that means an individual work to our student you can click here make a copy to each however because i'm giving it as a group work where everybody is able to click into this same file i will give the students can edit access okay student can edit all right therefore i need to create every group is individual file yeah and i will be able to see Right, together with the students in the group okay 
the next item will be to include the instructions. Okay, I've already done the instruction up for this Google Classroom itself. Alright, to say something nice so that they will be interested and ties to really be aroused if they are interested and aroused for your lesson. Okay, then this particular activity is something that is fun. Okay, there are something similar instructions given as just now. How do you play? Alright, first you can include first item, all members do really uh, click on the file. Okay, second, okay, follow the instruction in the file. Okay, so all numbers, all students are given a certain number according to the number of students in the group or to to actually uh, look at the picture, okay, right, picture in the file, okay, and think of a story of the according to adventure, alright, and the last item will be to finish up the story, so give them a clue that is going to be continuity. Well, I finish as much of the story as possible. Okay, uh, in five minutes, it's up to you to give them the, the amount of time that you would like to give them. All right, you know, I'd like to keep just five minutes at the end of the lesson. You can even give this as a pre lesson before lesson as a blended uh, activity. All right, the next item to do is importantly the number of students within this group. Only those students that you want within group one will be assigned. Okay, so in this case, you just have to click the triangle at the right side, all students click on it. All right, and then just choose the number of students that belongs to group one. Okay, so in this case, I only have uh, four students. I'm going to have two groups. Okay, two in each group. Okay, A, B, C, and learn, join, laugh. Right, and the next item, important item to allocate mark to this so that it is very interesting to play with. Okay, marks is something that they can target that. All right, so maybe you can give a simple five marks to this. All right, and then give a topic to it. All right, and uh, uh, I'm going to give a simple topic, basic English. Cool. All right, so this is ready already. So the number of students in the group is done, marks done. The topic is important so that you can find your assignment later. Okay, and all attachment is correct. And this is important. The file is given to all students to edit. Once you're ready, assign. You can assign them, and then they will be actually able to all access the same file. Okay, next and last thing to do before you can actually really tell from the students do this group work, right, is to uh, reassign it for the group 2 or the other groups. Okay, and very simple way is to reuse that particular post you have just done. Okay, so go to class work, click on create, okay, click on reuse post, alright, and then because you have just done this and uh, you can actually look for this your own class currently, alright, and then click on that particular item that you have done just now okay here just double click click on you reuse the assignment that you have given to that group one or up here okay in this case group one is up here you have to uh, customize for the other group right and uh, the rest of the instruction can be the same however the file is still the group one file okay make sure you change this group two's file otherwise you'll be working on the same okay so you have to Cancel it first. Click it adds. Yeah, so remove it and then add again. Add the file again. Go back to your Google Drive and look for your group 2 file. Alright. The recent files is, has appeared. Okay, you do have your group 2 file here. Just click on it. Okay, the other way is to click insert at the bottom after your first click. Click insert. Alright, you've been inserted. Do remember to do the same thing. Okay, change the view to student can edit. Okay, the rest of the item will be pretty much the same like points and the topping, just that the location of the assignment is given to all students every time you have a new post or a reuse post. So you're going to click on all students again and choose the other two students in group 2. Alright, once it's done, okay, all check, all clear, assign again. Okay, now back in your classwork, right? If you able to scroll down to basic English, you will see your two assignments there. That's how you can easily find your work, alright, assigned to them. Alright, and back in your stream, if you click on stream, you will see it right on top. This should be the view of the students and they have uh, in their own group the, the uh, assignment assigned to them. I hope you like this video and you're going to love to be first to be notified of our future video. Please click subscribe button, give us a thumbs up, click the bell so you'll be first to be notified or click the round button here. Well, I hope to see you again. Take care.